We introduced and started the open compound domain adaptation problem in this work. The perceptual system of self-driving cars aims to recognize visual world reliably and robustly. Nowadays, people are leveraging simulation engine to generate massive training data for self-driving cars. Consider you are taking a self-driving car from New York to Seattle to attend CVPR. The simulation train system needs to adapt to new domains. Traditional domain adaptation mainly tackles pairwise adaptation with a distinct dark domain, for example, from simulation to rainy weather. However, in real world, we are usually facing compound heterogeneous domains with mixed factors, like the cloudy, snowy driving conditions. Moreover, there are always open unknown domains out there, posing challenges to the robustness of AI system deployment. Compared with single and multi-target adaptation, here we formally define a more realistic setting named Open Compound Domain Adaptation. Our proposed open compound domain adaptation task has several unique challenges because it has to deal with both compound domains and open domains. Here we also present an effective solution to this task, consisting of domain memory in architecture and instance curriculum in learning. Next, let us get back to the trip from New York City to Seattle. The self-driving car trained on simulation needs to continuously adapt to open-world driving conditions, from source to compound to open. We propose an instance-wise curriculum adaptation protocol for compound domains. We also construct a memory bank to utilize previous knowledge for open domains. We design a domain disentangle module to extract domain heterogeneity of each instance. We also learn an indicator to control knowledge transfer. Next, we will take a further look at the effects of each module using a benchmark we created from five digit datasets. We use an adversarial approach to gradually extract domain factors of each instance that are irrelevant to corresponding classes. On the right, is the dynamics of domain factor learning. This is a visualization of two types of factors we learned. When the class factor cluster samples by classes, as shown on the left, domain factors cluster samples by each domain. We use the domain factors to determine the curriculum based on sample distances to source domain. For example, in the early epochs, the model is mostly adapting to MNIST M, then harder domains are gradually added. We also use the domain factors to learn an indicator that controls knowledge transfer. When the sample is far away from the source domain, the indicator tends to have larger norms so that the memory can have larger weights. We construct four benchmarks on classification, segmentation, and reinforcement learning, and we achieve improvements on all of them. We also test our method by number of compound domains and number of open domains. Our method is more consistent compared to others. For more results, these are the performances on source domain. On compound target domain, and an open target domain. For reinforcement learning, all succeeded in source domain. Some failed in easier domains. And only we succeeded in harder domains. To summarize, we present a new task, open compound domain adaptation, with corresponding approach and benchmarks to facilitate further research. Thanks for listening. All the codes, models, and benchmarks are available at the project page.